I don't know why I sounded like a pirate there, but today is an extremely pleasant video that I have in store for you. Um, every year, every year for years now, my friends over at Art of Play, the coolest shop in the entire universe, uh, toys, puzzles, trinkets, illusions, magic trick cards, all these things uh, are available there. They're by far like the funnest place to shop if you're looking for gifts, if you're looking just to entertain yourself for friends or kids or adults, whatever you need. Plethora of curiosities await you at Art of Play. I left the link below where you can check them out. Every year my friends over there send me a care package and this care package is always bananas and this year <laughs> even more so. So before we get into this video, I would highly appreciate it if you subscribe. Really helps out. All right, deal? Thank you. Let's start here. This is simple. This is something very simple that we can start with. This is a magnifying glass for the desktop made of brass. Very cool. <laughs> How weird is that? This is a uh, desktop magnifying glass so we can put it over top of things. I'm going to use this for puzzles and things of that nature. So I'll leave this here. We might, uh, we might need this. A cool little simple object. That's what we start with. Next, we move on to, this is a box and it says Bernardo. Bernardo. Uh, this is a collaboration by JR. If you're familiar with JR, he is an artist out of Paris, France. An incredible visual artist, uh, hangs around with David Blaine a lot. J.R. au Louvre. Inaugurated on March 29th, 1989, the pyramid has become an emblem of the Louvre Museum in Paris. In just a few years, as a part of the pyramid's 30th anniversary, the Louvre Museum invited the French artist J.R. to design a work of art collaborating, celebrating this event. Let's have a look at this. So with this comes a few cups. Now these cups are cool themselves because they are reflective. And inside, we have these little plates. Here's what the plate looks like. You can see it here. Pretty cool, you know, pretty dope. But watch what happens when the cup is introduced. Kind of hard to see on camera, isn't it? Here, we'll do it here. Here we are, a building is discovered with this big pyramid popping up in the building, as you can see. A very cool illusion. I've seen a lot of these. I've always wanted to own one. This is a limited edition, a fun little tea tray, and you get a 360 view of this monument, which is absolutely cool. One of the, one of the I mean, just, just a cool little item to have. Nice little illusion saucer and cup. We shall put this aside. Many more things to show you, my friends. These are so cool. These are, look at the packaging here. Can we just acknowledge? Okay, we got gold and silver. We got this beautiful little emblem here, which is a, a tree with a card in it in the shape of a spade. Beautiful colors on these boxes. Let's open the gold one here. Inside you receive this little package and another beautiful little bag, a little satchel it says art of play, very whimsical. On the inside here, it says illusion ring. Illusion Ring is a version of the Lisa Ju roller created by Bill Gosper. To best observe the illusion, roll the ring across the table and position your eyes level with the surface. The ring will appear to spin like a carousel while gliding forward like a ghost. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see this illusion and then I'm gonna shoot it for you guys because from the top, it is still pretty cool. Like if you see this illusion from the top, it is still pretty cool what it does. Uh, but face on, I'm going to... Oh, wow. That is cool. That is cool. Um, I mean, that is pretty cool. So this is also a ring. I guess you can wear it as a ring, which is kind of cool. Not my style, but there you go. Uh, so this comes in silver and gold, available at Art of Play. What a fun, you know what, the packaging is just so, like I said, whimsical. The colors are just beautiful. Everything's just, ugh, so good. Everything they do is so good. Can't believe I'm friends with these people. I'm, I'm very lucky to have uh, such talented and creative friends around me uh, who have such cool products. Very cool. Great stocking stuffer or little gift if you want to give uh, the gift of illusion to someone. It reminded me of the CMY cube. Check this thing out. This is a cube. Uh, it comes folded in this beautiful origami paper. They like folded it around, made it look like an origami, which is really cool. 
Uh, CMY Cube Color Cube by Keishi Miyazaki, made in Japan. The CMY Cube is not a puzzle but an acrylic four centimeter cube colored with cyan, magenta, and yellow on each surface. But as you rotate the cube, the color gradually changes to beautiful desktop distraction with only one color attached to each surface. It's a beautiful combination of science and art. And look at that. Would you just look at it? Isn't that the coolest thing you've ever seen? Look at that. So it's an acrylic cube, which is plastic. Look, there's almost like a cube appearing in the middle when I hold it diagonally like this. It kind of grows and it shrinks. Every angle is something new to discover. It is just absolutely breathtaking, this thing. What a beautiful, if you're into photography, like prop photography, prop this bad guy up next to anything. And uh, I don't even know how this works. How can you have different colors when there's like clearly no layers? Like, oh, is it just a sticker, I guess? I don't know. It's wild anyways, looks really cool. The CMY cube, beautiful distraction. Moving on. Hmm, let me drink my coffee out of my beaker. One second, like a scientist. This is how scientists drink coffee. They put it in a Bunsen burner and then in a beaker. Oh, let's do this, flip book kit. Flipbook kit is a DIY flipbook box that you can create at home. Now, this is available at Art of Play. You can also visit flipbookkit.com. You can check out all sorts of different things that you can buy. They can, they have presets basically that uh, already have these images and you can buy them that way or you can make your own. Making your own is pretty cool. We made our own, pretty simple, but uh, we wanted to understand, you know, how difficult it was. It wasn't that difficult at all. Uh, so basically this packs flat. So it's a flat packed item. And when you get it, you put the pieces together and then you can make something cool. And we decided to make this. Check it out. First dot shot, baby. Look at that. Come on. How cool is that? So you got 24 frames, which is like one second of animation. Something for the top down here. 24 frames a second. You can make your own simple animation or take a GIF, decompose it, put it into here. You can do that too. That is the flipbook kit, a fun toy for you and your children to build. Or if you want to make your own little animated GIF, you can make your own NFT and throw it in this bad boy. You know what I'm saying? Flipbook kit, check it out. All right, we've done some cool items. Now I want to do something interesting. I was very interested in this. I'm obsessed with Japan's sort of culture and especially their attention to detail when it comes to crafting things, especially the puzzles. A lot of the puzzles that we solve here are made in Japan and Japan's craftsmanship is second to none. Everything has, there's no variation on anything they build. Their stuff is made to last, you know, a lifetime. And uh, some of the secrets to how they're able not only to do this, but why they do this. Uh, well, those secrets are kind of available in this book here. This is called Handmade in Japan, a very interesting and colorful, beautiful coffee table book here. Uh, the Pursuit of Perfection in Traditional Crafts and all throughout this book, basically they travel through the different regions of Japan and uh, encounter different artists in different regions that produce different items and what makes them unique and everything's so handcrafted, meticulously made. It is mind boggling how much work they put into the things that they make. It is really, really uh, it's not, you know what, it's really not something that we understand here in the Western world. Uh, because we don't understand why you would build something to last more than just your lifetime. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but they do, clearly. And uh, there's even a place in Japan where there's a garden with a 300 year old garden. This is really interesting. And this kind of gives you like a, a bit of a, a bit of an understanding for the mindset that they have. And this garden basically, these little trees um, the garden would only be ready in 300 years. And so the people making that garden initially would never see the garden fully finished because it would only be 300 years later that you could really truly enjoy this beautiful garden. And that just is a testament to the mindset that they have when creating things and it's beautiful. And uh, just nothing is rushed. Everything is made painstakingly, simply. And, and man, this is a really beautiful book. The images in this book are amazing. If you're ever looking to visit Japan, uh, this is a great guide into perhaps looking into a small area of Japan that you'd like to visit. So if you go to the back, you can actually uh, check it out by 
sort of this index, which have not only the items, but the different locations in Japan that are featured in this book. So I highly recommend picking that up if you're into these such things. I'm gonna leave that on my coffee desk over there, or my coffee desk, my coffee table over there. This is, okay, this one's just for me. I used to go to a bar and at the bar, like we were playing drinking games and that type of stuff. And uh, this was always sitting at the bar and I would always play this. So it's a bit of nostalgia for me. Um, this is a fun little game. So basically the object of the game here is to eventually knock down all of these numbers, okay? And the way you can do that, and this is how I play. I didn't even read the instructions, but this is how I played, and I assume it's the same thing. So basically, I would roll the dice, uh, that being a six. Now I have a choice of either doing six, or I could do four and two. Uh, I wanna keep the smaller numbers because they help me divide up more things later, so I'm gonna go with the six. I would then roll again. Uh, two, see, now I have doubles. I can roll again, so. I can choose to roll again. So I can do two or I can roll again. In this case, I'll roll again and we add it up. Four, so now we're at six and we roll again. Plus three, that's nine. We're gonna get rid of the nine. Next up, 11. See, we have 11, we can go eight and three. We could also go seven and four. Uh, we can do all sorts of things. Five, we'll get rid of the five. Six, oh, four and two, we got eight left. Can we do it? Three, no. All right, so final score would be eight. The lower the score, uh, the better, right? So you play against someone else and the lowest score would win unless, you know, you get all of them and there you go. So it's a fun little uh, solo game if you like, if you're doing something while waiting or uh, you can get two of these and play with your friends, kind of like a, an ancient battleship, if you will. Uh, fun little game, check it out below. It's called Shut the Box, by the way, Shut the Box. Shut that box. Look at the packaging on this item. Quantos puros? Created by Adam Rubin. Adam Rubin, friend of mine, illusion creator, great writer, works for Art of Play, such a sweetheart, cool dude. Love hanging out with Adam. Adam, shout out to you, dude. Uh, miss you, buddy. Hope you get to hang out again soon. Uh, and if you look at this giant cigar box, which is, by the way, feels like it's covered in leather. Absolutely beautiful. Inside, you have this marvelous illusion that you can see right here. This is made of ceramic. So there's like this ceramic plate that's on the inside as well as the ceramic plate that's on the outside. And it's a bit of an ashtray. And what's cool about this is uh, if you count how many cigars there are, there are now six cigars, right? Six cigars. We'll check this out. Now there are eight cigars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And here, now we have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cigars. So you go from six to seven to eight cigars. So if you went the other way, it would look like this. Uh, like this, all right, six. And before your very eyes, that's six cigars right there. Seven cigars. Eight cigars. How cool is that? So an ashtray, that's also an illusion, but just a really nice uh, demonstration piece. They actually had this thing set up in uh, their back room at their old showroom. Uh, on on like a card table. So you had this like poker table, you had this in the back, and I remember seeing this multiple times walking in. So when they had it available, super happy to get this. Very, very dope uh, little impossible object. Fun to show people. And the box is just so sexy. Sexy box? Can we say that? You can say sexy box. Definitely a sexy box. Good job, Adam. All right, finally. Uh, perhaps my favorite thing. Let me screen grab over here. All right. This next thing is called Playtronic. Uh, my favorite little gadget that was included in this parcel. There are two different things. Uh, there's one called Touch Me, which is this thing here. All right. Uh, this is very cool. Let me put on a player here. There's all these different players. If you look at this here, there's so many different synth players and pianos and stuff. Um, we'll just try this one, the dot piano. I like the look of this. So 
Although that is already pretty cool, what you can, you can also plug this into anything, like absolutely anything here. Uh, for example, let's take this, take this here. I'm actually gonna just dip this in my coffee. This is just gonna go straight into my coffee. I'm gonna keep my finger on the other one here and I'm just gonna put my finger into the coffee. And then I can play with this one. Now, what, what does this accomplish? Do I look silly? Yes. Am I a genius? That's for you to decide. You, you, you can do this with more things than coffee. Uh, we actually plugged it into a clementine earlier and we could squeeze the clementine and it would make different sounds. Like, so you can make anything an instrument, which is really interesting, but wait till you see this next one. Put this one aside for now. This one I've been really wanting to try out. So this is like the crazy version, all right? We got all these wires here. It looks complicated, but it really isn't. So it basically comes with a website. You go to the website, which has all these different uh, synth tools, these different pianos and stuff. Yeah, there's all sorts of ones. I really like this one that does the uh, dots. All right, now that we have this, all of the keys here, if you can see a close up, you've got like, you know, G1, F1, E1, C, D, all the little keys. And here's what we're gonna do. This is gonna be really cool. We're gonna plug all these in here. We're making a masterpiece here, okay? <laughs> Check out all these puzzles that I have. I've got this little bowl of puzzles here. Future of music is in my hands. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's move this over so you can see. Let's record this. We have successfully made the world's first piano made of puzzles. Come on, save it. I now have a listenable link to my masterpiece. My computer cannot handle the awesomeness that I've just provided it with. How cool is that? You can turn anything into an instrument that blows my mind. It's look, again, it looks complicated. You're just plugging in wires to whatever you want, whether it's your plant your dog, your neighbor, or even your own cup of coffee. Man, this was a lot of fun. It was so much fun. I'm just looking around to make sure I didn't miss anything because there's so many things. Uh, they also sent me a few puzzles, which we'll be looking at in the next couple weeks if you enjoyed this video, which I highly doubt you didn't. Again, appreciate the like, appreciate the sub, share with your friends, leave a comment below and tell me which one of these items is your favorite. Would love to know which ones you really jammed on. As for me, it's gotta be a toss up between, I uh, definitely the Playtron. Uh, I like the cups as well. And the CMY cube is really dope. So I mean a lot of really cool things that I'm gonna use and have around the office and make some content with. Just thought it was really dope. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Check out Art of Play and we'll see you on the next video. Peace out.